Brought to you by our exclusive fabric partners. Be sure to look for their newest lines of fabric. Hi, welcome to Quiltmaker's Block Network. I'm Carolyn Beam with Quiltmaker Magazine. Today I'm going to share with you a night out, block number 733. This is a block that I designed for Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, Volume 8. For this block, you'll need a blue for the sky, three greens and a brown for the trees, brown for the ground, three fabrics for the tent, and assorted fabrics to make the flowers. This block features three-dimensional flowers, which I'll show you how to make and add after the block is sewn. You can find everything you need to make this block to the right of your screen. If you'd like to write these down, please pause your video now. The first thing you'll do is make three sets of flying geese using your green squares and your light blue squares. And then you'll arrange all of your patches into vertical columns. And as you can see, when I arranged the fabrics and the flying geese for the trees, that I mixed up the different color greens so that each tree is a little bit different to add some variety. You'll sew a brown rectangle between two blue rectangles to make your trunks. And if you notice, there is no trunk in the middle tree. And the reason for that is that it's going to be covered up by the tent, so you don't need to have a trunk there. Then you'll sew all your patches and units into these three vertical columns. You'll sew your three vertical columns together to get your block background. Prepare your tent patches for fusible applique. I like to fuse the door and this little section right here to the background tent before I actually put it onto my block. So once you have those two fused, you'll pull off the paper on the back and then you can position your tent anywhere you'd like. Just you want to make sure you cover up where a trunk would be. So just fuse it in place wherever you'd like. And then you can stitch around it with matching thread and a blanket stitch. Once you have your tent fused and stitched, you can add your little 3D flowers. To make each of these flowers, you take your plastic circle and cut four circles from one fabric. To make each quarter of the flower, you'll fold the circle in half twice and press. You'll make four of these just like this for each flower. Once you have your four little pieces made, you can arrange them any place you'd like on your background. To attach these to your block, all you need to do is take one little stitch in the center of each of the four pieces here, and that'll hold your flower down and allow the edges to remain free. And then to cover up those stitches in the center, you can just take a little button and sew it just like that. And you can make a couple more flowers and put them wherever you'd like on the block background. Then to finish your block, just take some little star buttons and just place them and sew them wherever you'd like on the block background. Now your a night out block is all done and finished. Here's a fun little quilt that we can make using this block. It's one block with two plain borders around it. And the third border, we've taken the flying geese and sewn them into groups of four and arranged them around the block. A Night Out and 99 Other Amazing Blocks can be found in Quiltmaker's 100 Blocks, Volume 8. Thanks for joining us today on Quiltmaker's Block Network. I hope to see you next time. Now I like to fuse the top two pieces to the background first and then peel the back paper away. is stuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hope you got her face. <laughs> it's like, come on, paper, peel off. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I have to remember that. Don't use the oh, face. <laughs>